everybody. Today I am going to explain to you our disc and belt sander and our oscillating sander. So a couple things that we want to keep in mind when we are ready to start sanding our projects. Um, starting out, thinking about sandpaper, okay? You always want to start with a rougher grit sandpaper, a lower number, like an 80 or a 100, and that's going to help remove any of the things that maybe as we were using a band saw, we got some relief cut lines inside of there. Um, so any type of little mistake that might be on your project, always start with a rougher grit sandpaper, then you move to the higher grit, which is also considered to be a smoother type grit for a finishing look uh, before you actually apply a finish and stain. All right. So when you come over to the disc and belt sander here, we have 50 grit sandpaper. This is going to take off a lot of material, so we're never going to be forcing our material on here. We're simply going to be using it to get our edges. We never want to take the face of a board and place it on here. Number one, not safe, could get sucked inside of here. All right, so these are for our edges in our ends. Okay, now exhaust system. When we're over here, it sawdust people, it gets all over, it gets up into the air. Turn the exhaust system on. For this demonstration, I'm not going to, but I'm only going to use this at the very end so you don't see all the sawdust. Um, but make sure that you turn the exhaust system on when you are using this. Uh, next thing, common sense things. Keep all hair, jewelry, clothing away from any type of moving parts. I have long hair, make sure I pull it back. If I had a sweatshirt, make sure. These machines are so much stronger than you, it's gonna win, you will not in this battle. So make sure all things are away from all moving parts, okay? Then we wanna make sure when we're doing this, we're always standing on the downward side of stuff. Our disc is a circle over here. It's rotating counterclockwise, all right? If I were to have my material flat on here, one side's gonna be lifting up while one side's pushing down. You've got to be careful so you don't get any type of a kickback on here. Always sand on the downward side. There are directional arrows on here. Always follow this, okay? Downward side. Kind of have to imagine you, maybe, oh, there we go, kind of like right here in the middle, always gonna stay on the downward side. All right, same with our belt. Our belt only one moves in one direction. It is downward. All right, when we are working on this, you never wanna try and reach across to something. So if you are working over on our disc side and you're done, just take one little step off to the side and then you can reach down and turn the power on or off. Never reach across stuff because you don't know if it will get sucked into the machine. All right, uh, let's see what else. When if this belt starts to tend to move, you can kind of see the track that it should be on. If it's moving back and forth and it's not in there tight enough or it's starting to come off the track, turn the machine off. If the disc starts to come unglued over here, turn the machine off and come get the instructor. We will fix it for you, all right? As you are sanding your item, you wanna make sure that you are firmly holding it down. I've seen students where they come over here and they're a little bit afraid of this machine, don't worry, this is the easiest one in the class. Uh, they're just barely holding on to it, and maybe something might go flying on you. You need to firmly hold it down onto this surface. This is called the table, this is called the table. Firmly hold it onto the table. We also wanna make sure our fingers are two inches away from our sanding material, all right? So always have it two inches away. Well, what if I have a tiny little piece and I can't, you know, my fingers need to get a little bit closer? Well, that's where you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go grab a pair of pliers. All right, and hold your material with that so your fingers, again, are two inches away. Again, needs to be flat on the table, firmly holding. You don't wanna hold it up here, it'll suck it down, and if that gets into your knuckles, that's really gonna hurt, okay? Always have it flat on the table, two inches away, and you can use your material or hold it on there like this, because again, safety first. We wanna keep all of our fingers. Um, we wanna keep the floor around this full or free of Sawdust and any type of materials that could be a tripping hazard. Sawdust on the floor gets really, really slippery. So if we create a mess over here, we need to make sure that we sweep it up right away so nobody slips and falls when they're walking over here. All right, um, you need to always turn this off. Make sure that it comes to a complete stop before you leave this area. There's so many times we have the exhaust going and the radio going and kids talking and stuff like that, that you think you hit it and you walk away. Never leave the machine until you have physically seen that it is turned off because you don't wanna leave a machine running. All right, you need to let the teacher know if this has any wears or tears in it, okay? 
One thing that we can use is this abrasive block to help us keep this clean and in great condition. So as time goes and people are using this, it's gonna get some sawdust buildup inside of there. The abrasive block we can push against the side and it helps clean it and keep it longer. But if you ever see holes or tears or anything, let the teacher know. We will be happy to come over and replace this right away for you. Um, we again, don't wanna sand two pieces that are too small to be safely supported. This is too small for me to hold with my hands. So again, I can use a pair of pliers to go ahead and clamp onto this and use it so I keep my fingers safely um, away from there and my material is supported safely. Alrighty, and again, this is called our belt sander and this is our disc sander. Now to use this, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll turn it on, get my safety glasses, make sure I have nothing that can get caught in any moving or rotating item. Go ahead and just touch on there as it's still running. All right, now for my oscillating or drum sander or spindle sander, whatever you want to call it, all right, it's right here. It basically, it's just spinning around and spinning up and down and you can notice that it's round so it's able to get to the inside of curves that you might not be able to get to with our disc and belt sander. To use this, we simply turn it on, all right, and it's spinning. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to push against the way that it is spinning. So I can get inside, keeping my fingers at least two inches away. And you always want to push against the way that it is spinning. If I spin with it, we're gonna have what's called a kickback and it'll go flying on you. All right, very simple, very easy to use. Keep your fingers at least two inches away. Make sure that you turn it off before you walk away because this one obviously is not very low. So if you have any questions on any of the disc and belt sander or our spindle sander, please let us know and we're happy to help you out. Thanks.